Hey, it's Abby J, and this is my five minute faith builder experience called The Parable of the Bunnies, illustrated by yours truly. Now, you're probably wondering, oh, Abby is an artist. No, I'm not. And so this is gonna be really interesting. So bear with my stick figures, but let me share with you how my faith and testimony of God in our personal lives changed through this experience. So when I was in high school, we had a really unique situation. Our neighbor had all these baby bunnies. And because my family is a family of veterinarians, they asked us if we would babysit these bunnies for one weekend while they went out of town. And of course, we were thrilled and we said, absolutely, yes, we will take care of these baby bunnies. Well, I was in high school at the time, and so I remember being at school and just randomly feeling like I should come home for lunch and have lunch with my dad. And so I did, I came home and as soon as I did, I found that we had a situation. My dad had let the bunnies out to hop around the yard and they had gotten through our little cage that we had made for them in the yard for them to hop around. And so they were scattered through the whole yard and our yard was pretty big and it's not super fenced in. And so we were really, really worried that we would lose these baby bunnies. And so I felt like me and my dad together would be able to catch these bunnies and we started to. As a team, I feel like catching bunnies as one person is impossible, but two of us, we could do it. And we were able to get all of the bunnies but one. We knew that we were missing one bunny. And I remember sitting there and just feeling so panicked. Not only are these not like my bunnies, but there's this little baby bunny out there that was alone and scared and we just had no idea where it was. Well, I said a prayer and I felt very inspired to look under my neighbor's shed. And sure enough, there was this little baby bunny crouched clear over in the far corner. And I, as like I tried, I got on my stomach, I tried to reach down and grab this baby bunny and I couldn't. And every time I reached for it, he went further and further back into this dark and scary like shed. And so I felt like I, I couldn't get him. And I remember saying a prayer and I said, Heavenly Father, you are gonna have to bring this bunny to me. And right when I uttered that prayer, I remember that this bunny, and keep in mind, these are not like trained bunnies, these were brand new, like cotton ball bunnies. It started to hop over so ever so slowly towards me. And I put out my hand and he literally came right into my hand. And as soon as I could, I grasped onto that bunny and was able to pull him out. And I remember feeling so tremendously blessed that I could capture this bunny. So at this point, you're probably thinking that this is a story about prayer. And you know what, honestly it is. It's an awesome example of the power of prayer and how Heavenly Father can help us out. But I felt like my testimony grew more in the fact that I realized that God cares. And this experience with these bunnies helped me to realize that God is in the detail of our lives. And if he could care about a little baby bunny that was scared and hiding under a shed and a high school girl that was trying to like catch him and herd him back in, he cares about every detail of your life. And that's the testimony that I have, that God is in the details of our lives and that he cares and that he knows. And he doesn't just know your name and maybe some like generalized facts about you. He knows everything. He knows about your class periods at school and the relationships that you're trying to form. He knows about your job. He knows about your struggles. He knows about the quiet moments that you have alone and scared at late at night and just wondering what is going to happen with your life and what is he going to make of it? He is aware of those moments. And that is what I realized when I had this experience with these bunnies, that if God could be so aware of one, one lost bunny, how much greater aware is he of you? And so I hope that you can take this experience of mine and go throughout your day today realizing that God is in the details of your life. And I know if you ask to see some of those details, he will show them to you. So I'm Abby J. Winslow, and this has been my five minute faith builder on the parable of the bunnies.